Hi, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to fit a simple linear regression model. This is a regression with a one independent variable. We'll use the data tooth growth which is in R. So type in tooth growth and enter. The data consists of the length of the guinea pig's teeth after receiving a dosage of vitamin C. So this ID2 uh, guinea pig has a length of 11.5 after receiving a uh, dosage of half a milligram. Next thing to do is to attach the data to R using the attach command. This tells R that we're performing functions on tooth growth. Now to start analysis, let's have a look at a scatter plot. The command here is plot. The variable that comes after plot will appear on the horizontal, the x-axis, and the one following it on the y-axis. So we here, see here from the scatter plot that as dose increases, so does the length. There appears to be quite a strong positive linear relationship between length and dose. So let's fit a model on this. Our dv will be length, our iv will be dose. The command to fit a regression is lm. So we've got lm command here, followed by the name of our dv, type in this tilde sign here, and then the iv. We've got to give the regression a name, so we've called it H metrics. You can call it what you like. To see the output, we use the summary command. So we type summary and then the name of our regression. Okay, we have three tables here. One is on the residuals, second one on the coefficients, and the third summary statistics. On the table of coefficients, we see that the Estimated intercept is 7.4225 and the estimated slope parameter is 9.7636. Looking over to the right of the columns, the T statistics suggest say that the intercept is highly significant, you know so from the three stars, and as is dose, the uh, slope parameter is also highly significant. The significant codes are given on this row. Having fitted the line, now let's superimpose that on our scatter plot. So the command here is AB line followed by the name of our regression. We see now that the line, our fitted line, appears on the graph. Finally, let's have a look at the residual plot. Plot again, uh, followed by the name of our regression and then the dollar sign resid. Okay, here is the residual plot. The residual plot suggests a problem with the model. Can you see what it is? Well, I hope this has been very useful to you. This ends the tutorial. Thanks for watching.